So here's the ultra large format and I've, I keep changing it, I keep moving it, trying to simplify it, get it really nice and usable. Uh, I've just popped a screw in there to lock the uh, was it, tilt movement, uh, which hinges here because just for the moment it'll be a more usable camera if it's nice and solid and I've still got to work out a way to lock that in position. Um, here's a, an enlarging lens. The recommended lens for enlarging 11 by 14 inch sheet film and because I've changed everything I've mounted a Packard shutter permanently on the back of the front standard. Uh, we have a, a bag bellows as well as a traditional folded, folded bellows. <clears throat> and well this is a bit of a mess here because I've changed it. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can that bolt doesn't quite land where it used to in this uh, lens board. Um, there's the shutter and there's a, a bit of a Sigaflex there just for light seal. And I've, I've had to pack out that lens board with a, a thin bit of timber there to make it thicker to space that lens away from that shutter which is why well, that bolt no longer lines up and to do that I had there was a there's a block. I had a bit of timber in here that the lens board had to go over. It would key it in, make it secure. I had to take that out on account of the lens board now being thicker. Um, so if that lens doesn't foul against that shutter, it's going to be a much more usable camera. And this this lens is f 5.6, so it'd be nice and bright and should also be very nice and sharp.